Hello guys, welcome to the channel. It's your man Jack in the middle. And um uh, funny thing, you know what? Let's get some music. So funny thing happened. Um oh, I forgot. Alright, anyways. <laughs> Alright, no, that's not funny. Let's uh let's uh let's cut. <laughs> Jack in the middle. <laughs> A funny thing happened to me the other day, right? Um, or just just right now, whatever. Um, I was watching a video and I'm like, um, the man. The man Jack in the middle, welcome to the man Jack in the middle. Oh, by the way, guys, please rotate your screens right now and give the video a like. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I was like, the man, but I'm not the man anymore. I used to be the man, guys. You know, there was a popular video game I used to play, and it had a large community, and it used to be a real vibrant thing going on. So I was the man. I don't know, maybe we're going to have to change the green. But you have Leo on your screen here, and um, just for the purpose of the video, and I'm sorry my videos are so dragged out, and we want to do three battles today, so um, well, please forgive me guys. Um, yeah, <coughs> um, the, 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 Leo, the Leo was in our hangar as a dominant piece, maybe for selfish reasons, and we want to talk about psychology also today maybe not now i'll probably do it as post commentary while we watch the fight but um you know the he but mainly i was building my leos to be like counters to the lancelot and then apart from the lancelot you had the hetchy so we had a counter for the hetchy and my counter to the hetchy in some ways was um you know her fujin I call all my robots girls, so you know her majesties, and she's naked right now, so let's be nice um, Right, so she was the counter to the to the hitchy, but now But now we have my lineup and um, You know we have as far as the counter to the Lancelot you would probably have the Inquisitor um, which is kind of, but hardly so, a counter to the Hechi, and um, and then you have the Kum, we have the Kumio, which is not, uh, um, not exactly, and uh, you know, a counter to the Hechi, but you know, we just pray that you end up on a team that has a counter to the Hechi, and you have other things to offer, being the fastest robot in the game, pound for pound. And we could explain that later, some other time. So let's get into some gameplay. And I think what basically what we want to exhibit in the gameplay is just um, mastery of the the robots. Um, I'm, going, I'm going to explain. Hopefully, the Rhino. We get to use the Rhino. Um, usually, I start out with the Hover as as just being. Um, a scout butt to um you know check out the situation we tend to be all rounder beacon grabber everything um you'll find that i'll, I'll save the hitchy most times for the, or the kumio most times for last and as just to, somebody just to sweep up um you know in you know, if i need if i need that so um another thing quickly before we get into it and i have to get into post commentary is um League points. You guys can see I am 3,762 league points into Expert League 2. And the last time we were here, I forgot. But let's get into some gameplay and we'll discuss the rest of that some other time. Alright. Okay, we're going to do a quick match, a quick match, 
and a free for all. Um, the only boosters we have activated is some honor points boosters. Okay, we are about to drop in on Beacon Rush. We're gonna drop in a little bit late, and a lot of the stuff I wanna talk to you guys about, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to because these turned out to be some action packed matches. And, um, well, the last one, not so much, but <laughs> these here. Um, let's see. Let's focus on this, um, focus on some strategy. One of the things we wanted to talk about was strategy and psychology. And one of the, I do want to focus on making sure I use the psychology of strategy every time I come into this. Alright, so on your screen right now, there's a guy named called the Dweller right there. He's on my target box as we're going up to Sea Beacon on the little, on the little over, bridge overpass. We're going to lose Beacon E. We have Beacon E. You see it's blue. We're going to lose Beacon E. The dweller is right there. I didn't see what happened to him, but apparently right at this point here, he slips right under us, and he's behind us. As a matter of fact, there's an arrow that's pointing to the left there to indicate that there's somebody behind us, but I didn't even realize that. So when I drop down to, to shoot here, which may or may not have been the right thing, I, I don't know. When I drop down to do that, um, he was behind me the whole time, and I thought he slipped around until I, I was analyzing it this last time. So there he is, the dweller that was under there, or uh, 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 sneaky strider. I thought he got killed and came back around the long way, and I was like, you know, wow, that was quick. But um, I, I, I realized what happened, because I was watching to see his name pop up, and his name didn't pop up as getting killed. Right, so we're gonna get right out here. Okay, what am I thinking? Um, I'm thinking, just defend the beacon. There's a lot of guys over here right now. Drop in and lay down some firepower. I can't expect anybody from my team to do it. If I'm not willing to do it, but it's not only that. Usually, it's like I'm the only one thinking to do the things that need to get done. It feels like sometimes. All right. Right here, didn't have much of a choice. I decided to fall in on the A beacon, which was on the opposite side and just lend some support through the tunnel. I, I want to shoot through the tunnel, so I'm going to head down there and I'm not going to last too long. All right, so um, the game changes a lot right here. There's some something coming up, a little bit of a movie magic moment that we're going to try, but we'll do that when we get there. Um, so there is apparently a boycott going on against the modules, and you know, I, I, I think it's only against the modules. I don't think it's against the new lockdown weapons or the new robots that we're bringing in or, or something, stuff like that. I think it's just specifically these modules that we have uh, attached. You're going to see I, I do use a few modules. Um, I'm not sure, and I don't think in this game, but in the other game to come, I do use a few modules. Alright, so let's focus again now. I am going to get taken out right here. I don't remember how exactly that happens, but I, I guess I'll say, I, I guess an Inquisitor comes over the top. I think they're behind us right now to the left. And, um, uh, no, that's not an inquisitor, that's a, that's a, that was a hover there, so, but I'm getting hit badly there from somebody. And, um, two of my weapons are gone. I'm still not sure where it's really coming from. Um, is this the point here where I was like, okay, I need to change my robot, I need to change my robot, but... I was like, I, I, it, it was so much going on around me, so much action going on. I was like, just keep firing, just keep firing. Let's see how far we get. I think this guy is going to take me out. I don't think I actually get to take him out. But I did a pretty good job um, of, you know, bringing down his life force to help my, my, my team out. Uh, here, I drop in, and I didn't even realize I'm on the enemy side. I thought I was on home side. I came in ready to shoot up. I'm thinking I'm going across. I think I need to get across to the arm. Uh, to the, to, the, uh, to the enemy side right now. I completely forgot, you can see I'm not paying attention. So coming up right here, right now. This here, my friends, is the future of war robots. This is where we're going. This rhino here you see on your screen um, is going to be the next level, actually the weapons that's that's on him, the storm weapons, the gust weapons, that is where we're gonna we're gonna take it as far as the leveling up is concerned. So I wanna I wanna go ahead right now and level up or um or basic weapons. Weapons like or orphans or parons and um, you know the, the the general weapons that we have. 
before because I, I consider storms and just like the next generation of weapons. You can see I'm running a storm right now, the only one. You can see this this rhino is back here taking them out the whole time. If he wasn't here, I'd have been dead already. If you guys um, you know, rewind to what I was talking about, I didn't even realize that we're on the enemy side. I, I, there was like two or three guys that, that dropped when I was watching the replay. I realized that we were all on this side here. Alright, a few funny things are going to happen right here. Right here, I realize I'm taking too long to attack this guy. He's an inquisitor. He's going to get the jump soon. So I need to attack him, get some shots in before he goes completely invisible. Right there. No, um, this right here is a moment. It was supposed to be a funny moment where, you know, you, you, you stop and you think to yourself and you you say, well, you know, do you do I have all my, you know, what do you call it? Is my house in order? Is the biblical term they use. Is, you know, is my house in order? Is everything okay? But then I realized, you know what? In this picture, it's too late. You're dead already. You just need to let it go, man. Let it go. Right? So... But something funny is going to happen here. So this is the guy that takes us out. You know when you die, the person that takes you out gets to watch this. This is not... This, uh, the, 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 the game lagged a little bit, but right here, that's not a camera trick. That dude completely got wiped out, guys, by this guy in the, with the Orc Inspector right here. The Orc Inspector completely wiped him out. So you, we, if the, game, the game didn't have time to register him getting hit. The Orc Inspector here gets wiped out. I'm going to send this in as a, as a clip to War Rovers, just as a funny clip. The, 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 the Inquisitor there gets wiped out, this specter comes along, the, um, I don't know if that's a raven or a, uh, or a um, griffin right now, they, they all look alike, the griffin goes at him, you know, or the raven goes at him and it wipes him out, you know, it was just so funny back and forth, and I was wondering for a second, like, are we gonna get wiped out and not win this game, but fortunately, we do win, and you're gonna hear the crazy man scream in the background soon. <laughs> right okay so um we did that so that was our first game so now this game here is when i'm going to employ a lot of the psychology that we are talking about so i did mention to you guys that apparently there is some kind of mini boy protest going on in fact about the modules if you guys saw my um sabotage video about war robots i was asking the question are people sabotaging the modules or what all right um so we're gonna do another quick match this was another decent match now in this match i'm going to do something i have been more diligently to do in recent times now right here when i start the match i usually check are there six players okay yes there's six players go full forward now here is something i start doing again i start stopping to check and look to see if we have um snipers support members on our team i don't want to call them campers they might be a little bit of loafers they might be people trying out new weapons and they're just laying back but you need to know if they're on your team because you're going to get into a lot of action and you're going to need to know that these guys are still playing and that they are getting into the game and not still laying back loafing so we wanted to take a picture of that. That's the that's a new psych one of the new psychologies I'm getting into as far as having your mentality to either win the game always or always finish as a top score. Because these guys will sit back here and finish as a top score. You'll get wiped out. We're gonna get wiped out right here. Thankfully we got the beacon. Alright. And you know something I didn't check to check out one of those guys' names. I don't know if we're gonna have a chance to do it with something new and playing. So this guy here is about to grab the beacon again. I have to jump in real quick, basically sacrifice another robot almost because if they were bum rushing that beacon, I would have gotten it wiped out. I'm just gonna start getting hit by fire. There's an inquisitor coming in already. I'm get I'm getting picked up by um by Zeus's and I think Malat. The um is on that a um the Lancelot over there. Um <laughs> the Rhino I'm supposed to be showing you guys Rhino gameplay. The Rhino is just getting wiped out a lot, but the Rhino is very beneficial to me right now for that hard hard shield that he has up front and I'm um, still having two useful weapons while he's blocking fire. You know for you and your teammates and you know of course go looking to do some damage when the Rhino is on the field. You know he's not wasting time. So we're going to wipe this guy out. This is our third bot here. 
from standing here getting damage on Deacon D. And right around this point, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, all right, all right, it's getting desperate. We only have two beacons. Um, this is not the way I like to start the game. This is the sign of a losing team. We only, we only have two beacons, all right? So um, we want to work on weapon mastery, robot mastery. So you can see one of the things I'm doing, I'm sitting back here behind the pillar waiting for my, my, uh, my ability to come back in before I try to you know, make a push again. So that's one thing to remember here as far as weapon mastery. This here, not so much weapon mastery. I hit the button for this. What I, what I have here is ammo, um, what do you call it? Um, ammo, lockdown ammo. So I, 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 I hit the module for it, but I completely missed everything. Now the first half was completely bad firing. The second half was I got kind of pinned <laughs> right here right now my mentality is okay I just lost a robot this picture is flashing in my mind there is three guys who are support units where are they right now at this point in the battle and at this point here you know I said uh, you know I'm thinking what's going on with the three stooges so I am about to um locate can we get to that point there All right, so i'm about to here we're, we're going to pick a new spot and we're going to jump back in i look that jump in beacon a if anywhere they're going to be they're going to be a beacon a there goes one of them right there All right and um i think sure enough you know no that guy didn't it wasn't that guy i did check at the end there's a name i don't want to mention but there's, look at that surprise jamaica over there on the left side all right, so we're going to sit back and we're going to watch him. This is my new psychology, guys. You, fall, you, get, you get into a game, and I didn't mind it so much when I saw a support unit on a big map like um, Canyon, even though it's Beacon Rush, because you could use a player like that. They could work, come in handy. But if it's six minutes into the game, seven minutes into the game, and your, your, your team only has two beacons and you've been here that long, it's time for you to ditch that butt, brother, or, you know, or, or push harder with that butt. So that butt takes some fire also and help your team out. So I sat down and I was waiting to make sure he, he falls in. He did come in. And when he, when he was back in to find out if he's playing or not, find out how, how aggressive I should push now for the second half of the game. Should I just go for damage? Or should I try, are, are you going to try to win the game? Because you know sometimes you'll make sacrifices. You'll, you'll take a loss if you know, like you did in the first game. You'll take a loss if you know your team's going to win. Right? And uh, it works out in the end. Um, but if, you, if the team's not going to win, then I need to stay safe behind cover and just take do damage. Uh, my robots are strong enough to do that for me. But I could, I could um, even even against Master League players, I could probably, I could hold my own, you know, if I'm playing selfishly, you know, free for all style, which I, I don't like that style too much. And, um, anyway, so yeah, so 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 that that right there, guys, is something. Okay, so speaking of something, right here on your screen, what's happening? Um, as we're firing, I noticed that one player died and a new player is falling in. So at this point here, this has already, I know it, it seems like it's, it's supernatural right now. We're pausing these things and we're doing all these things. But believe me, you pay attention to these things in game. And when this player, when the, when this name came in, it's been a whole full second already. So I'm waiting for the, I saw the name pop up. And you guys can rewind and look, check it if you want. I saw the name pop up and then the body came in or the robot actually came in. So the name came in before the, the robot came in. And it's been a full minute already. So the robot is there now. And to make a long story short, I'm using scourges. And I'm thinking, this guy is wide open, I need to get to this guy. So believe me, the whole time right now, I am trying to point this robot in the direction of that new player that just fell in so I could get my scourges on him and I could start burning him. What happens? I am here. I am trying to shoot everybody else. I started shooting this guy. I was like, you know, but I'm trying to refocus and I'm tapping. You guys could, if you guys could see the, um, if you guys know of that, the lock button, what, the, you, you can see it lighting up. I'm lighting up the lock button, trying to switch my lock. You know, it's, this is just, just as one of the things I was talking about, mastering a weapon. This scourge has a mind of its own. 
and you know sometimes you lock on to a prayer it's the wrong prayer that, that pops out da 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 you know so sometimes you don't want to lock but then sometimes it's just necessary and sometimes you can't get this thing to aim properly that's just something I wanted to mention so as far as on um, lead points um Jack your man Jack mentioned something about lead points that I mentioned in the videos right now we're up to about 3200 um and 90 no no actually right now we are up to where did I write it I didn't write it Maybe I showed it to you, oh, I think I showed it to you guys, so I'm up to like 3,790 um, lead points right now. But when we started this leveling up experiment, you know, going from, um, I don't believe, I don't remember if we, we, we were in Expert League, I think we were trying to get to Expert League, but um, I, I, from, the, from what I could see from the records is about 3,200 league points is what we had but that 3200 league points would put us in expert league 3 but you know that was lower expert league 3 when we were uh, just coming in and you know starting to get really back into moving up we want to get to at least master league so we could get some of those honorary rewards and uh, you know take advantage of um, what master league has to offer um, you know so the psychology is what's different and what the psychology um, I guess we could talk about that some more. I don't know if it's going to happen right now. Um, right here, you're going to see I am going to. Um, okay, and that is saying there the robot will be destroyed if change. Yes, I know that. Go ahead, destroy the robot. I'm ready to go. Um, but yeah, you know, so the psychology is to. To win, all right. The, uh, uh, the psychology of winning, I guess, is we want. And the fear is that you know what I'm saying. You know, I use this is the strength, the strength of my crew is to run around like this, clean up, go ahead and catch beacons. We're, we're, we're winning as far as players on the battlefield and 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 firepower, but you know we're losing on beacons, and the, the crew will really help your team out on any map um, in a situation like this. So the psychology is to win every every match and. You know, it's, it's not going to always be possible because you can't control all the variables. You can't sit down and plan with all your players to, to increase those odds. So, you know, you have you have to come in with your mentality of what your robots could do, what your weapons could do, and what you can do as a player. Alright, next match. Alright, so, um, it's quiet all through here. Um, so I'm going to use this opportunity to talk a little bit um, as we get into the, the free-for-all match. I think we are here going to the free-for-all. I did change the Inquisitor, you guys could notice. I changed his heavy weapon to the, to the lockdown weapon. I just wanted to have fun. I'm not a free-for-all player. I, I've heard um, from the same source, I heard that there's a boy called my man Gross Drift. Free-for-all is a great place for you to level up at. I'm just going to let you guys watch this and, and you know, if you, 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 you guys could comment and tell me what you think I should have done better, how I could approach the situation better. This match here, um, you know, you guys, you guys just watch this one, guys, and you know, you know what you guys think. Um, bad weapon mastery, I'll say, is my comment. But you guys comment, let me know what you think I could have done better, how to be better at free for all. Because I guess, as I was saying, free for all I'm hearing is the best way to um, for you to move up if you're trying to gain lead points. You know, because the first three players always move forward. But um, so we talked about psychology a little bit, right? Um, how to use the rhino? We didn't get to the rhino got stuck in bad predicaments a, a, a few times, so the rhino where yeah, I got hung up again. So the rhino, um, I didn't we didn't get to explore that too much. How to use the rhino, right? Um. So, and I, and, I, and I explained to you guys pretty much, you know, what we're trying to do as far as um, where we're trying to go with all this leveling up stuff. Master League, I would love to get the Champs League. Um, I don't want to kill myself rushing to get there. <laughs> this guy before you could come down to it. Um, I don't want to kill myself to get there. Um, you know, so I just I want to take my time. I'm thinking I have a good plan, a good solid plan that we're doing right now. Up, upgrade our weapons to to as high as we could get them. Um, part of what's happening right now, you have um, before economy and after economy weapons. Where if you if you guys have been with the game for a while, um, 
the, the you know the game they changed the economy like a year ago basically the upgrade economy the part it, it, it now costs more to upgrade weapons and to and to you know and then it takes longer to upgrade these weapons um, than it used to so that's what I, that's what I'm talking about when I say um you know the, the, the Ford economy stuff and um so I'm finding that I could take I could take the Ford economy stuff all the way to level 12 pretty much before I could take the um, after economy stuff to like level eight for example if, I, if I'm not mistaken you know so so um I, I you know you see me using the glory the glory for example is something I would love to start I put it I would love to put it in the lineup right now however the upgrade times is just gonna be so crazy uh, it's not gonna be something I think I'm going to be able to do but um but yeah um so you know you guys go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video Please uh, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Like, don't forget to like the video. Go ahead and rotate your screen right now, and um, you know, hit the like button for me, please. Um, please, more than anything, I like to hear from you guys commenting. So you know, this is a perfect opportunity. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. I'm not gonna say anything else. I want you guys watch the rest of this video and let me know what I could do better. You know, um, ask me any questions you guys have to ask me. And you know, perfect opportunity for commenting. Let me know what I could have done better here in the street that match. What you would have done, what robots you would have picked, how you guys would have done it better. Alright, so I can't wait to hear from you guys. Thank you very thank you very much for stopping by the channel. Thank you very much for watching and uh, for still being here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, this is your man Jack in the middle and I'm out. Bye bye.